I want to share with you what I've been up to with my homemaking this week. I have a little grocery haul for you. I feel like I haven't done one of those in a long time, but I picked up a couple of interesting things and I also got up to some other fun stuff as well. So let's get started. So here is my little haul and I'll show you everything that I got starting with this item right over here. And this is a zucchini spiralizer. You just put the zucchini in and there's this end has like little spikes to hold the zucchini in place. And then there's a crank handle on the side here that you turn. And then when you turn it, you get zucchini noodles that come out the other side. And this is such a great way to increase the number of vegetables that you're eating. And you can just serve it like you would with pasta. So regular sauce or a bit of garlic and olive oil. This is going to be great. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it when my zucchini starts growing in my garden. The next item I got is a little bit of an acquired taste, but I love these. These are little drinks. They're imported from Italy and I think you can get them on Amazon as well but the flavor of these is very similar to Campari if you've ever had that so it's definitely like a herbal kind of flavor I absolutely love them so I got a few of those I got a couple sticks of butter I got some veggie and chicken gyozas I got two packages, two four pound packages of frozen blueberries I got a nice chunk of mild gouda some potatoes, butternut squash, carrots, some arugula, and again, I'll be growing that in my garden as well come this spring. I got some fresh rockfish that I'll just bake up in the oven with some breadcrumbs and seasoning. I picked up a roast for the slow cooker, and then here are some sun-dried tomato wraps, which we'll have with chicken and lettuce and salsa and so on. I also picked up a package of nutritional yeast. Now this is another one of those things that's an acquired taste, but I love the flavor of it. It kind of has like a little bit of like a cheesy, nutty flavor, if you can imagine that, but it is so good for you. If we look at the nutritional information on the back, this is a powerhouse of nutrition and you don't need very very much of it like a couple of tablespoons sprinkled on some popcorn I think is absolutely delicious you can sprinkle it onto salads or mix it into hummus this stuff is amazing so I was very happy to find that and then I also picked up a couple of cans of black beans and I'm gonna do something interesting with these so I mentioned I was gonna make something with these and believe it or not these black beans are going to form the base for some delicious chocolatey melt in your mouth brownies and this is a flourless recipe so there's no flour in this recipe at all but you will get some nice protein and fiber in these brownies and you don't taste the beans at all this is an easy from scratch recipe that comes together in no time and i'll show you how you make it first drain and rinse one 14 ounce can of black beans then put them into a blender or a food chopper. Add a couple tablespoons of cocoa powder, a bit of baking powder, half a cup of sugar, vanilla, a bit of salt, a quarter cup of oil, an egg, and some chocolate chips. Then whiz it all up. Pour it into an eight inch baking pan and top it with some chocolate chips. Bake it for 25 to 30 minutes and you'll get a healthier chocolate treat. The texture is very light and chocolatey and you cannot taste the beans at all. I made a batch of these brownies when we had company over a couple of weeks ago and I asked them if they could taste the black beans and they said absolutely not. It just tastes like a delicious brownie. And it's so nice to get that little bit of extra fiber and protein from the beans. So these are a make again for sure at our house. So one of the most important aspects of homemaking is deepening the connections with our 
our loved ones. And if you saw the video that I put out around Valentine's Day, you'll know that we created these little love jars and everyone in our household had a jar with their name on it and everyone else put down something on a little note that was something they liked or admired or appreciated about that person. And we all sat down to dinner and we all got to open up our jars and read all of the wonderful things that everyone had written. And we walked away from that meal just feeling valued and appreciated and seen. And it was just such a nice experience to draw us closer together. So I'm thinking that I want to continue this going forward, but also expanding this to friends as well. Just writing a little note on a post-it and sticking it to a mirror. I think these types of things can go a long way to just fostering community and keeping everything positive in the home and in our relationships and just a nice way to help people feel valued and like they matter. I also did a bit of tidying and decluttering this week. I like to break this into smaller tasks like cleaning out a couple of drawers or cupboards or tackling a smaller area at a time. That way it doesn't seem like a big daunting job. I find this can give us a sense of accomplishment where we can feel good about taming an area and feel inspired to keep going once we see how much better it functions. I also started making my own glass cleaner because it only takes two ingredients and it does a phenomenal job. A friend of ours cleans windows for a living and he told us the solution that he uses and it's so super simple and you can use it on your windows, inside, outside, any glass shelves that you have, any mirrors in the house and they come out sparkling clean and it's pennies to make. So to make this glass cleaner, it's so easy. You just need an empty spray bottle and you can even just recycle one of your old Windex bottles. And then you just need a little tiny bit of household ammonia. And you don't need very much at all. This is the cap and I've filled the cap with the ammonia and that just goes in the bottle. And then we just top the rest up with water. And that's all you need. It's about a tablespoon or so to fill a bottle this size. And that's all there is to it. And this is a solution that professional window washers use. And if you think about the cost of your average bottle of window cleaner, which is anywhere between four to eight dollars a bottle, this is a great cost effective solution that you can just make for a few cents to get your windows and any glass in your house nice and shiny. Right around this time of year, I start to look forward to the coming of spring. And whenever I see these sweet little primulas show up in the grocery store flower department, I get so excited because they're so bright and cheery and it just reminds me that spring isn't too far off. So I picked up a few of these just to add a little bit of color around the house and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. These are also known as primroses and they are one of the first flowering plants of spring and they have this really beautiful light rose-like scent and they give a nice splash of color. A few months ago I thrifted this really beautiful American Beauty China teapot and it was such a steal because I got it for five dollars and I think it's so beautiful with all of these pink roses. It's so fresh and pretty but it's sitting unused in my china cabinet right now so I'm going to turn this into a focal point. And while I'm at it, I think I'm gonna pretty up my front door as well. And I just have one of these flat backed baskets that I thrifted. And then I just have some flowers that I picked up at the dollar store a couple of years ago. So I'm going to use these for my front door. Thanks so much for joining in everyone. Take care and we'll catch you in the next one.